Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how I dye my hair pastel pink with hot pink tips. You will need a mixing bowl of sorts, a brush, your desired hair colour and conditioner. Since I'm dyeing my hair pastel pink, I will be using quite a lot of conditioner, meaning that it won't turn out really really hot pink but more of a bubble gum. Hi guys, as you can see I'm only doing half my hair and I'm going to be retouching up my faded pastel hair. And I'm also going to be using a t-shirt that I always use for when I dye my hair that doesn't care if it gets ruined or not. So I set up the hair that I will not be dyeing in a clip. And I also clip aside one of the sides because I really like working in sections and I find it easier for me. dyeing my hair. I usually found out that I didn't really need to use the brush afterwards because the pastel uh, mostly contains, you know, conditioner so it didn't actually stain my hands at all. But I would actually recommend for the hot pink tips, I would recommend using the gloves because I found out later that that was uh, not a good idea. So uh, I kind of got stained hands for about two days. But yeah. Then I make sure I get absolutely underneath all my roots and I make sure I get all the back, which is a bit difficult for me, but I, I managed to do it, don't worry. usually uh, pull my hands through the hair to just make sure everything gets in. Go over to the hot pink and where you can see I'll just use my hands and you just basically just rub it in. And after I'm done dyeing it I usually just uh, wrap it up in some, I can't remember what it's called but I wrap it up in that and after I've wrapped it up I usually wait for about Hmm, about 45 minutes to an hour and meanwhile I usually watch some Korean dramas and I'm on Tumblr. And after that I just take my hair out of it and I wash it. result as it is dry and it is curled. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of how I do my hair and I hope you guys subscribe. Thank you!